Good morning guys from a random place in Poland, here uh, Gdansk, Poland. I'm just here in the suburbs of the city and today I'm going to probably the most boring city in Poland called Eltlak. It's about one hour from here, more or less one and a half maybe. And my Polish friend told me go to Poznan, go to Malbork, don't go to Eltlak, it's so boring. But I thought, hey man, the most boring city in Poland, why not try to go there and see how life is like in such a boring city? Maybe it's a pleasant surprise, we don't know. So the mission right now is to walk 40 minutes, get to the bus station and hopefully get a ticket to Elblak. I'll not go to Malborg, Poznan, Gdansk yet. I'm heading straight to the most boring city in Poland. The flags on the buses in Poland have Ukrainian flags to show solidarity in Poland. This way right here looks really wrong. Looks like a murder forest or something. Doesn't look like the right way to the train station. But let's enjoy the moment. Get down to Poland in the north of Poland. I'm heading close to Kaliningrad, which is Russian territory. Again, Elblak is in Poland, close to Kaliningrad. I can't wait to see that city, see all the highlights, hopefully. And maybe talk to some people to ask them how life is like. Let's go, guys. What you won't do to go to Poland's most boring city. I'm walking around this thick forest on a narrow path with one ambition to visit Elblak. Elblak is a medium-sized port city of 125,000 people. It's a city with a bittersweet history, was basically destroyed during World War II. I think it has a bright future. We will see today what the world's most boring city of Poland is like. Hello? We are on the ground, two Dutch guys sleeping in their cars over there. Oh, outskirts of Gdansk. I really hope Elblak is better. It's the only action right now. If you go by the saying, go where nobody goes, walk right here in this park in Gdansk. Two drunk guys sleeping in their cars, that's all you'll meet. A tree which is about to break. That tree could fall on me anytime. First traces of civilization on the way to Elblak. Have to take the train, but that looks promising. Elblak is an accurate indicator of the Polish-German relationship. It started with a cooperation, then the two countries entered a state war, and therefore the city almost vanished. Hopefully I'll see some development in the city today, because as we all know, the Polish and German relationship is much better now than it was 80 years ago. There's a strong smell of petroleum here and cement mixed together in a forest that's so Poland. Poland is one of the most polluted countries in the EU, if you didn't know. Around 50,000 people die every year, mostly the old population from diseases that comes from air pollution here. It's quite thick, even though I like Poland, I have to be honest. Elplak? Train. Sorry, Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Straight? Straight across the Oh, okay. Perfect. Thank you. What a guy drawing on the floor, showing me the way. I think he wrote 10 on the ground. He couldn't speak any English, but he knew El Black, which I'm really glad to hear because of all the sacrifices I'm making right now. You see the rain, everything to go to El Black. At least I got a hint that I'm going the right direction. Look at these apartment blocks. What is this fancy invention? Uwaka Bramakrosi Sawalenian Sakas Presbywania. Agree. And the park actually looks much better from here. Got a little wet. And the most beautiful building I've seen so far here in the north of Poland. Looks pretty epic. El Plak. Yes. Train, uh, train to El Plak. Straight. Dziękuję. Dziękuję. Dziękuję, my friend, helping me in the rain. Who said the Polish are not helpful people? Everyone is trying their best to help me here to navigate in the rain. Some serious street art. Just raining a bit. I'll wait here with this amazing street art before I will continue. As you can see here with the houses, they are in pretty bad condition. Ross Marino. Finally, something I can pronounce here in Poland. Look at this graffiti here. 
What a place that I am right now on the way to Elblag. Here we have a massive greenhouse. It's almost like a castle. It's massive. What do you find on top of the bush? Coca-Cola bottle and a beer. North of Poland. They don't go down on the mole set. Raining so much right now. I hope it will clear up soon. It's really bad. It's raining so much. I'll take shelter over here. Let's go guys. Definitely isn't easy. Status right now is we cannot wait the whole day. It continues to rain like crazy. What a legend. I don't know the name of the guy. Oh. And the cars are splashing water. You know you're from Scandinavia when you wear sunglasses in these weather conditions. El Black. El Black. How come these guys don't know such a prosperous city as El Black? I think the train station is over here. Almost at the train station now. Completely wet, but it doesn't stop me. Yeah, it seems like there's a little shopping street and a barber shop. Much nicer buildings here. Close to the train station to El Black. Where do you get tickets, sir? Tickets? Uh, you can buy tickets there. In that... In the building? Yeah, okay. Okay, guys, now I'm ready to go to El Black. That was a really communist system here. With a lot of queue, no automats to buy the tickets. But in the end I got it, so let's go to El Black. Is El Black nice? What? Go guys, I'm in wagon 13, right now I'm 11, I hope it's possible to... Oops. So it's better to come to Gdańsk, of course. Okay. I study in Gdańsk for yeah, uh, six years. How do you like pronounce Gdańsk? Gdańsk. 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 El Black. Is it the most boring city in Poland? Uh, I don't know, but uh, I would, but similar, similar for me. El Black. Nice to meet you, my friend. Nice to meet you. What do you think of El Black? It's a nice small city to be born into, but to leave when you're able to. Is it a little bit boring? Or? Yeah, and you know, it's a small town. So this is Elbeck? Uh, yeah. And you're from here? Yeah. How many people live here in Elbeck? Like 100,000 maybe. What are some of the main attractions? I don't have, it has maybe the old town. The old town? It is pretty, pretty so. And I heard it also was destroyed during the Second World War. That's uh, maybe some destruction, or did they rebuild everything? Uh, yeah, but I'm not good with the history, so no, I'm not gonna tell right. you what no, happened. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, guys, I have officially made it to Poland's most boring city. El Black, even the people here laugh a little bit of the city. What a city. Let's enter the gates of El Black. Seems very quiet at first. I don't know. Okay, okay, thank you. So people might not speak a lot of English and El Black, but they are really friendly so far. They don't understand when you say toilet, but if you say toilette, 
they might understand you. And I need to visit that place now. First attraction in El Black. So it's a payment system. Wow. Three Polish slutty to go to the toilet. I'm not paying that. I'm a guy. I'm an El Black. There's no limitations here. Let's find a bush. So I'm just peeing here in the bush to save three Polish slutty. I hope El Black police won't stop me. That was really good. Let's go, guys. Poshta Polska. Postal service. Cool. I'm sure El Black is a place you can explore for weeks, for months. But I'm just here for the day. And hopefully it's gonna be a lot of fun. It already seems like an interesting place, let's put it that way. It's starting to rain a little bit now. Here's a dog, dangerous dog. Hey, Do you like El Black? Do you like El Black? Is El Black nice? Even the dog was looking like it just wanted to leave the place as soon as possible. In many of the countries I go to, I'm able to speak some of the language, but Poland is the big exception. I don't speak any Polish whatsoever, maybe like 20 words maximum. That definitely makes El Black a little bit harder, even though it's such a charming city. Take a look at the view, guys. Warminska. There's like cakes inside. Let's go inside and have a look. Hello. Do you speak English? Thank you. As you probably know, now the rain starts to fall like crazy. As you probably know, El Black is not the most touristy town in Europe, in Poland. And the English level is definitely thereafter. No one gives a about English here. Polish rules El Black. Legendary Biedronka. Supermarket visited that one a lot in Krakow, Warsaw. Biedronka. It's over there. There's an old El Black guy. Here comes the rain again. Let's go to Piedronka. Duso Deshto. Duso Deshto. No. El Black. Very good. El Black. El Blanc. El Blanc. Good city. <laughs> Let's go inside. Okay, guys, I'm inside Piedronka, one of the locals' favorite here in El Black. One of the absolute highlights of the city. Let's see if we can get something to eat. I'm just going to get two chocolate croissants, just what I'm in the mood for here in El Black. Delicacies, that's what I want. And then maybe we can find a place to drink some beers with the locals. Coffee. Maybe I should buy some for that lonely dog. This is something that might spice El Black up. Look at this hair color. That was the most colorful thing of El Black. Pietronka, what an absolute lifesaver. And finally, the first glimpse of some action when the guy was cleaning the floor and you could see everyone was panicking slightly because of the noise. They're not used to the noise there. So uh, yeah, it's time to eat some chocolate croissants, some delicacies of El Black. Seems so great. Look at these haircuts. You can say a lot about El Black, but the population had definitely have style with the orange hair, etc. And the croissants are definitely very tasty. And in case you want to go to Wipreseta, then it's that way. Uh, the Old Town. Uh, can you repeat? The Old Town. Old Town, yeah. Um, this, this way. This way. So down there and then... Yeah, go, go there yeah. and turn right. Yes. And all the... Uh, all the down the street. How far is it? Like minutes? Uh, 50, 20 minutes. Is El Black a nice city? Uh, it, it depends. It depends. Yeah. It's quiet? Yeah, quiet and only a few hours when it's loud. Like yeah, yeah. now it starts this hour. Okay, yes. Yeah, but you you see the weather. Thank you so much, man. Nice to meet you. El Black. Yeah. 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 Okay. This way. Okay. Bye bye, my friend. What a friendly guy. He said there was some serious drinking down here. What a genuine lad. I think he guided me the wrong way. That's unfortunate. We'll keep on searching. Yes, Miasto. Miasto. Stare miasto. Miasto. Cały czas prosto. Aha. W tamtą stronę. Okay. Dosyć daleko. Okay, thank you. Go. Dworzec. 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 Piękne stare miasto. Tak. Good. Yeah. Thank you. 
All right, so now he showed me another way. We'll try to go that way that he told me now. Prosper? Yeah. Okay, thank you. I think I'm gonna find this old town. Because I used all of my data in Italy, I've been there for the last month, then I don't have any data left for EU as I normally have. So I'm exploring this city without internet. More modern than I expected. Restauracha, almost the same as restaurant. With the help of the Polish people, the El Black people, I'm making my way close to the old town. Beautiful blocks here. And I can safely say this is the most boring Polish city I've been to. Bidronka stores everywhere and most of the shops are closed. A little boy on a bicycle. It's amazing. As you could see over that, there's a lot of building going on, a lot of renovation. El Black will be great again. The old town, is it that way? Yes. Uh, that way and it's first right. Okay, so right down that uh, fuel station? Yes, behind the uh, petrol station. Uh, turn right okay. and uh, straight away. 10 minutes from. Yeah. Officially found the first English-speaking lady in El Black, really getting close to the old town and I can't wait to have a beer with the Polish-speaking people of El Black. Enjoy the moment. This is El Black. A little bit of a traffic chaos right now. The old town, is it that way? Uh, Stare Miasto? Stare Miasto. Right. right. So I didn't get that on camera, but the cyclist there, he just got hit by a car. The most boring city turned out to be full of action, full of energy. What the <coughs> He's over there. He just drives on like a real Polish guy, just some vodka after and you won't feel any pain. Okay, the rain is starting to come again. That means sunglasses on. So here we have a Nike and Editor shop next to each other. And that's actually human psychology. I read about it recently. McDonald's and Burger King, they do the same and both of them will have increased sales when they are next to each other. That's why we see this many places that two competitors place each other next to each other. It's very strange. Right now I just can't wait to see that Stadam Yasto. The old town better be good, just like the city. Uh, okay. Prosto, 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 prosto. Very good. So we are on the right way. We will have to turn left down there. It starts to rain. Sometimes it stops. It's really unpredictable here in El Black. So you better enjoy the sunny hours or the cloudy hours at least. Stara Miasto. I have now officially said Stara Miasto 829 times, and I've shown you so many highlights. Here's another one of El Black, now we're gonna go to the old town. Artistic, 100%. Stara Miasto? Prosto, prosto. Prosto, prosto. In Poland, you can never have enough of prosto. Most important word when you need to find something. As we are getting closer to the unique and bustling city center, there starts to be some more action sound. Car cruising by. And a very nice car parked right here. Besides that, some empty buildings. Here we have a little park. No idea what it says. There's no one in this park. It's a little bit sad. Okay, so something bad happened here. Maybe some of you Polish-speaking people can help me on this one. Because I'm not sure what it says. So let me know, guys, what happened here in the background. I'm really curious to know because I want to get all the sides of El Black. I know there's been a lot of tragedy and a bittersweet history here in the city, but obviously now it's getting better and better. I would say El Black, it's in a developing process. It's not totally there yet, but it's definitely getting close. That's so cool. Another highlight of El Black. Start uh, Miasto? I don't know. Boris Monopolowi. Start Miasto? Mm -hmm. I like this part of the city. Looks really nice with the buildings over here. Here is a casino. Not really a big fan of casinos. I know you'll always be the loser. Still, they have the option. Look at this view. This is El Black. Big five-star hotels. Everything all-inclusive. 
let's go and check out the old town. I'm very close right now. Okay, correction, three stars, but it's not bad. Walking down the rather hectic main street of the city. Obviously, there's a lot of parking problems, as you can see. Everybody want to live here. And now we'll check out the old town. I see some colorful buildings down here that I'm actually very excited to see. El Black might be freaking boring, but it has beauty, and that's for sure. See these houses almost like you are in Amsterdam, fancy place in San Francisco, but it's in El Black, Poland. I saw the name of this church and I immediately gave up on pronouncing it for you guys, but uh, check out the name here. You can see my location right now. Occasionally, you might be lucky to see people, at least from a distance, here in El Black, but it's Super duper quiet. I've rarely been in such a quiet city in Europe. I mean, like this should be the main square. Look at this guy's completely quiet. Such a nice place where you could be and hang out, but none of the locals really appreciate the beauty of El Black. Everybody seems to just want to get away. This is El Black. It's been raining the whole day. I've been wearing my sunglasses the whole day also. And now we we'll go for an ice cream. That's a perfect day to do it in El Black. It's very quiet. But not right now, actually, because of the weather. But oh, okay. Normally? Normally, it's a lot. Are you from El Black? Yeah. Okay. What's the best thing about El Black? The old town. I think that is the most beautiful here. Do you like to live there? I actually do like being here. But I would like to live in a bigger city. Okay. <laughs> One day. Get dance, go workshop. Yeah. Only no black. Someone told me it's a little bit boring. Do you agree? Uh, sometimes, yeah. I would agree. <laughs> but sometimes it's fine also. Yeah. Especially when there's something to do in here. Yeah. The rain has stopped. And I just got a very useful information. Just like this city is very special, you see all these amazing things going on. It turns out there also is a pub. And what is the name of this pub? The special pub. So now we'll see if we can find the special pub. I think I have to cross the bridge and look on the other side. Special pub. Pitch people. Good day. Good day. Okay. What is going on here? That's more than the whole population of Elba. Guys, I'm going to cross the bridge now. It's time to pitch people, drink beer. That's one thing you need to know in Poland. Two very important words. Elblac has a little bit of an exotic vibe also. Now we are crossing to go to the other side of Elblac. Oh my God, these views, the bridge is up over here. And like in any big romantic city, it's important here to appreciate the small things in Elblac. That's how you get a good experience in the city. If you see something, you better be excited. At least you saw something. You can also rent kayaks. Excuse me, sir. Are you from El Black? No, no, no. No. <laughs> Do you like the city? Yeah, I like the city. Where are you from? I'm from South Korea. Ah, you're from Seoul? Yeah. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. How long are you here in El Black? Uh, I just uh, visit here by the uh, business street. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Are you here for business? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. How long have you been here? Uh, actually, uh, this Thursday I will be uh, moved to the Czech. Czech, okay. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Denmark. Denmark. Yeah. Oh. Can I take photo with you? Yeah. So this is my friend here from South Korea. He is visiting El Plage. It's a nice city. Yeah. 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 Very nice city. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Have a good day. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Wow, there's a lot of international presence in the city. Yeah, we are outside of the people. Oh, special pub, there it is. I was just about to walk past it. They have beer inside? Yes. Is that the best place? Yeah. The special pub, especially the, uh, the, the name of the beer. Yeah? Yeah, from here. Oh, they have their own beer? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna try it out. Yeah. Thank you, my friend. All right, so they have their own beer. This is the special pub. You see, I found the place. Let's go in. So one beer. Beer? Yeah. Which one? Uh, special Żywiec. The local beer. You have one El Blanc beer. El Blanc? Special, yeah. 
Big one or is it here from the city? The beer? Uh, is the beer here from Elbladz? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, give me the big one. Okay. I heard there's a big party here tonight. Big party? Yeah. Where? When? <laughs> there's no party. Not today. Not today. My, you are but my normally, first client. I'm your first client. Yes. That's amazing. Since 11. So like three, four hours, five hours. Yeah. That's amazing. Good. I heard some said uh, El Batch is a little bit boring, but I like Thanks. it. I like it. I'm the first client here in five hours, but now the party is starting. Thank you, Thank you my friend. Oh, this one. Oh, yes. Special the local beer. Thank you. Thank you. As you can see, the party is absolutely crazy here, and I'm probably the only person upstairs. Let's see if there's anyone. I met a Korean guy, and here we have El Blach Party Center. This is where the party starts. Very special. All right, guys, this is the most boring city in Poland. The good thing about the most boring city in Poland is if you're an introvert, you don't have to deal with annoying people. You can just come and drink a special, one of the local beers. There's no hot chicks here. Huh? There's no hot girls here. Huh? Hot girls? No. In Poland, we don't have hot. Oh, you don't have... It's not only in the city, but it's the whole of Poland, maybe. Mm, maybe in the free city. Gdańsk. But I heard from a lot of people, like, go to Elbrush, this is where it happens. Yes. Uh, maybe they lied to me. In Elbląg? Elbong we have in Elbong special pub is the biggest. That's pub the big, in this Elbong. is the biggest pub. Yes. Right. Right, the legendary pub, special pub in Elbach. It's really amazing and good vibes. So cheers for Elbach. Poland. 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 Nice to meet you. Hi. Hey. Jonas Wingiko. So the France? No, no. No, so the Poland. Poland to the... So the Polonia. Warszawy. Ah, Warszawy. Nice to meet you, my friend. Hey. Okay, bye bye. As you might know, the old Pope of the Vatican was from Poland. He was there for nearly 30 years. And Poland is a Catholic country. Nearly 33 million are registered as Catholics here. This is Jan Paul II, another important figure here. In El Blatch. What's the good thing about El Blatch? It's small. Uh, all the time. It's small, it's compact, it has it all. El Blatch. What do you like about El Blatch? It's small town and small town. It's small town? I don't know, it's just like its own thing. Two, three. El Blanc! It's a little bit embarrassing, but I've been saying the name the wrong way the whole time. Cheers, guys. El Blanc. Let's say hi to the cats and El Blanc. Hi. El Blanc cat. Really nice pussy here. Finally, someone I know here in El Blanc. Marius Puzianowski. I think he was the strongest man in the world. I remember seeing this guy as a kid lifting wheels and stuff. Very strong and tough. I had a blast here among heroes like Marius Puzianowski and other people. It's just been a real pleasure. So what's your favorite thing about El Blanc? Old town? Old town? Yes, yeah. it's very beautiful sure. architecture. Yeah. Is it a good place to party here? Huh? Yes, the many, the, there are many bars uh, okay. here and many kebab places. You can eat kebab. Oh, great. So it's not a boring city, right? No, not at all. So what was your name? Carolina. Carolina. Quiet in the day, but not that quiet in the night. In the night the party comes? Yeah. Okay, wow. Oh, excuse me. Okay. okay guys, the rain has been on and off here in El Blatch. The party has been full on completely all the time. And it's been a really enjoyable experience to come here to one of Poland's treasures, one of Poland's hidden secrets, one of Poland's pearls. This is El Blatch, and I hope you guys will visit the city. The old town is really cool. The beer, the special beer is magnificent even though you might drink it alone in the special pub. But Poland's most boring city is definitely not as bad as I thought at first. Had a really good time, met a lot of friendly people, met a Korean guy. What do you guys think of the video? Let me know your comments. And would you visit El Blatch? Please comment below. Remember to subscribe to Gus on the Go. See you guys.